This is an episode of the Ammo Quest for the 9mm short barrel that I think a lot of people have been waiting for. Well, it's here. What we're testing is spear gold dots from a 3 inch barrel pocket pistol. And specifically, I have regular plus P ammo and I have short barrel plus P. These are both 124 grain. Uh, 9 millimeter Luger plus P 124 grain gold dot hollow point. The difference is this one is made for short barrels, whereas this one isn't. Now, to recap, the purpose of doing all this testing is because while there's a lot of testing has been done, not all that much of it has been done from short barrel pistols, and the barrel length makes a difference. As an example, I did a test of the gold dot 124s in standard pressure, and two of them failed to expand and sailed entirely through a block or two blocks of gel. They went over 32 inches. Of the three that did expand, only one of them actually looked good. The other two were kind of iffy. One of them, a full third of the bullet didn't expand at all. So clearly in that case, we had a situation where the bullets were uh, driven at a velocity that was just below their threshold where they're designed to work at. And that's the problem that you have when you use a little short barrel. It, it may not let the ammo perform to its best. So the first thing we're going to try is going with the plus P version. Let's get a little bit more velocity and see if the ammo performs properly. But we also want to do the short barrel version because it's optimized for a short barrel. And what's the difference? I don't know, because they don't specify. What we do know is that on their printed ballistics, they list a three and a half inch barrel as having been tested for the short barrel. And that... You know, that's, this is a three inch barrel. All, all the common pocket pistols like the CAR PM9 or CM9, the SIG 938, the Breda Nano, they're all in the three inch barrel range. So maybe these will be better, but maybe still not enough. I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at the two bullets here and I gotta tell you, they look exactly the same. I see no difference. So what is the difference? Perhaps this bullet is engineered to open up at lower velocities than this one is. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm hoping, because if it is, we should get great performance from it. We're gonna test it through uh, professional ballistic gelatin and with and without IWBA spec 16 ounce per square yard heavy denim. Um, they gotta pass both tests in order to be, you know, to, to pass the test. If, if they fail either one, they're out of consideration. So let's get to the range and find out how this comparison of gold dots does. In bear gel, the 124 grain plus P normal gold dots, i.e. not the short barrels, penetrated to 12 and a half, 13, and 13 inches. This is the left side of the block. I'm going to flip the block over so you can see the right side now. And on this side of the block, you can see the remaining two bullets. One of them penetrated to 12 inches and the other one to 13 and a quarter inches. Short barrel gold dots through the bear gel penetrate pretty well. The shortest came up at 11 and 3 quarters inches, then we had one at 12 and a quarter, one at 12 and a half, and the furthest one was 12 and 3 quarters. That uh, 11 and 3 quarters, that may be below the FBI minimum, but when you look at it, you got four bullets that are really very consistently performing and all in the same place. I would not be worried about the fact that one of them hit 11 and 3 quarters. That would not be my concern. The gold dots from the bear gelatin are just about as perfect as you could hope to see. You got nine bullets here, all of them expanded ideally, uh, except, you know, this one has a little bit of a cockeyed pedal here, but, you know, one out of nine, and it made really no difference. Uh, you can also see why they're called gold dots. There's just a little tiny dot of gold in the expanded bullet. But I got no complaint. These things expanded to about as big as you're likely going to see a nine millimeter from a three inch barrel. At least I haven't found any that expand bigger. These are about 0.57 inches. I see no substantive difference between the two. The expansion is pretty much identical. Penetration is pretty much identical. Uh, and in both cases, they're really, really, really good performers.
the regular gold dots through denim stopped at 15, 16, 17, and 18 and a quarter inches. Through the denim, the gold dot short barrels, the shortest one stopped at 15 and a quarter. One went to 16 and a half, two went to 17, and one went to 18 and a half. So they're all really good. The 18 and a half does represent a little bit of over penetration. We would really prefer to see that stop at 18 inches or less. They're the same. They expanded to the average same diameter of 0.47 inches, which is a lot smaller than what we had from the bear gelt. And you can tell just how different in size these two are. Uh, and that always happens when you go through denim, the bullets are impaired a little bit. You can see in this case, we still have the center of it still plugged with denim, but that didn't matter. It still expanded. It doesn't have a polymer tip like the Hornady's do, but it didn't care. All nine of them expanded properly, performed properly. Uh, they just performed exactly like each other. There's no difference. They're gold dots. They expanded to about the same size the HSTs did. Um, they penetrated just a little deeper uh, overall, but it's, they all exhibited excellent performance. Okay, so the final wrap up, the difference between the gold dots, regular and short barrel, I didn't see any. I didn't discover any. The performance is fundamentally identical between the two. I couldn't tell a difference. Um, the good news is that they were both excellent and much better than the standard pressure 124 grain gold dot was. If you're gonna go with 124 grain gold dot in a three inch barrel, do not use the standard pressure version. Definitely use one of the plus P's, which means for guys with Diamondback DB9s or other guns that are not rated for plus P, forget the gold dots, just don't bother. But if you're gonna use them, use one of the plus P's, whether it's the short barrel version or the regular, it doesn't really matter, at least as far as the testing goes. Now, here's my guess. If bullets are engineered to open up and perform well in a certain range of velocity. And I, I believe, because we got nearly identical velocity out of these, I don't think there's really a difference in the powder charge. There's definitely not a difference in the weight. So I think the difference must be in how the bullets are engineered to open up. And in my original test of the 124 grains, uh, we got velocities that were well below what Spear rated them for. They rated them for a four inch barrel. We used a three, the velocity was too low. They didn't open up properly. It all makes sense. Here we picked up enough additional velocity with the plus P version that they open up consistently. So they're fine. But the question is maybe the velocity is just on the edge between where it would and wouldn't open up. Maybe, maybe we're just over that threshold. Maybe, maybe these are engineered to open up at 1100 feet per second and we had enough velocity, we had an average that was higher than that, that they open up. And maybe these, the short barrel version, are engineered to open up at even lower velocities. Maybe, you know, 1050 or 1000 feet per second, I don't know. Uh, so what may potentially happen is you'll get more reliable expansion out of the short barrel version than you would out of the regular version. I did not observe that in this test. Out of nine bullets out of each gun caught in gel, they both performed identically, they both performed great. So I think you're well armed with either. But if I was gonna buy, I would go ahead and get the short barrel version just on the chance that maybe in one shot or two shots, maybe these would open up when these ones wouldn't. So that'd be my recommendation. I think the gold dots performed fine. There was a little itty bit of over penetration, but each time it was one bullet out of the nine. And so I don't think it's, it's a disaster. I think it's, it's a little bit over the 18 inch limit, but not enough to worry about. So I give the gold dots high marks. I think that the plus P version out of a three inch barrel is a good solid choice. Thanks for watching. I got a lot more ammo tests coming up, a uh, lot more of the Ammo Quest series. So if you hit subscribe, you'll be notified as soon as they're posted.